If you love fluffy melt-in-your-mouth pancakes, you've got to check out my banana pancake recipe. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Hey, you're watching Preppy Kitchen, where I, John Cannell, teach you how to make delicious homemade dishes to share with your family and friends. These pancakes will be ready before you know it, so let's get started. First off, melt three tablespoons of butter and set aside. Now we're going to measure out the dry ingredients, starting with one cup or 120 grams of all-purpose flour. Normally, I'm making pancakes and waffles in the morning before I've had my coffee, and I'll tell you, the biggest mistake you could make is mismeasuring your flour. If you just packed it into your measuring cup, it's gonna be like a totally different vibe on your baked goods. So either use a scale or fluff the flour and sprinkle it into your measuring cup, level it off. It's a little tip for you. For leavening, we're using two and a half teaspoons of baking powder, just add that right in. Half a teaspoon of salt for a little bit of contrast. And if you're using fine grain salt, go ahead and use a stingy half teaspoon. Fine crystals mean more salt in your little measuring spoon. These bananas are perfectly sweet, but we're gonna amp this up with just two tablespoons of granulated sugar. Whisk this up and we're gonna set it aside. I love banana pancakes because they're a great use for those old bananas you're about to throw out. But if you're like me and you didn't have those old bananas, use regular eating bananas that are greenish, yellow, or perfectly yellow, and just bake them for 10 minutes at 350. They'll look like this and it'll be perfect. When you open them up, they're gonna look like banana pudding and that's the perfect consistency. Plop those right into a bowl. They're hot out of the oven. Now we're gonna mash them up with a fork. You do not need to have a pureed banana in here. It could have some chunks and texture. I actually prefer that, just like in banana bread. And you can see this banana mashes right up. It smells super good. Super good. Plop one egg right in there. One cup of milk, you could use regular milk, low fat, or even almond milk if you prefer. Pour that milk right into the bananas. I'm gonna add an optional teaspoon of vanilla. The last wet ingredient is that three tablespoons of melted butter, right in there. Give it a whisk. By the way, if you wanted to remove the egg from this recipe, you could just add an extra half banana. Before I pour the wet into the dry, I'm gonna place this pan over medium low heat. I don't wanna burn these pancakes. Pour the wet into the dry. Whisk this together very gently. You don't wanna overmix the batter, so just carefully fold it together, and when it's combined, you're ready to pour. My pan's warming up, so I'm gonna add a little pat of butter to get this started. Once that's melted, we're gonna add a third of a cup of batter per pancake, but you can make them a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller. You can spread the batter out a little bit as needed or even corral it into a circular shape if that's important to you. You're just gonna let them cook for about two minutes until the bottom is golden brown. You see little bubbles on top. Pancakes are basically the perfect breakfast treat. Don't tell waffles that. <laughs> but when you add bananas to them, it's just a game changer. You've gotta try this if you love bananas. The texture is so melt in your mouth, cakey, amazing. You're gonna love it. Okay, this looks about ready. Yeah. Take it off and flip it over. Look at that, that's the perfect color. <laughs> All right, that second side cooks way quicker and repeat for the remaining batter. Let me know in the comments if there's a breakfast treat you want me to show you. There are so many that are on the blog that I haven't even put on YouTube yet. If you like this video, check out my breakfast playlist. <laughs> So moist, melt in your mouth, amazing. I'll see you in the next video.